Okay, so a couple of days ago we looked at the uh, beta, and these are the rings. Uh, you won't normally see them like this. Normally they're chrome-plated iron, and normally you'll see the bare metal. I covered these with insulating tape uh, right from the right from day one <laughs> because they make a lot of noise, um, which was no problem at the practice hall. Uh, where I learned uh, Chinese martial arts, but if you want to practice at home, uh, especially if you live in an apartment, you, you may want to consider your neighbours. So there are five rings here for each arm, and you can practice with more. Uh, you may want to start with less until you get used to them. You start with one or two. Usually in a set you'll have one which is slightly smaller, uh, which is the one that goes closest to the wrist. And if you've seen my video on Gong Tzu Fu Hu Chen, you will have seen this particular exercise, um, which is what I've got in mind for, you know, practice of the rings suitable for any martial artist. Uh, before you start the same, <clears throat> before you start the same principle as with uh, the beta. Uh, make sure that your your arms are uh, you know suitably engorged with blood, either through exercise or through something like this, or and or through the use of the beta. So that's one of the reasons they go so well together. Uh, you can wear these for a an entire uh, routine, an entire form or set, uh, but I don't really advise it because they they don't. Uh, go very well 